we've got a UFO down in uh, Europe, so we're going to send the Sky Ranger out to investigate. Um, I do have one extra uh, soldier now that we can bring along. Uh, unfortunately, all of my troops are injured, uh, except for the sniper and the heavy, so let's bring those along. And who's going to bring the... Well, let's have a look. Uh, Guan Liu. He can bring the uh, a medikit. Let's do that, just in case we get uh, poisoned or something. Sniper, heavy. Alright, who's going to take bring the arc thrower? Bernard. Bernard or Barnes. Uh, let's give the arc thrower to Bernard, uh, Barnes. Maybe she'll be the next assault class. I'm not sure. Uh, here we go. She has the privilege of taking the arc thrower. A very uh, important responsibility there. Hopefully we can catch one of these aliens. Um, otherwise, we are good to go. Oh, you're a new heavy. Thomas is uh, a new heavy, actually. So we do need to customize him a little bit. Uh, the heavies are going to be the, uh, the red red colors. Okay, here we go. Uh, the rest are just uh, regular troops. Regular troopers. Black is the sniper. Uh, we are good to go. Touching down. Our target site is near the German border. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. Okay, this is a city map. I was kind of hoping it was going to be out in the forest. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike One is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Okay, I just want to see. Oh my goodness! Right, this map's actually pretty large. How far? How far this way? Uh, this is actually a big map. Goes off quite a long way in the uh, that direction over there, in that direction over there. Um, I'm going to assume the uh, the UFOs over here somewhere um, to the west. Luckily, we do have an extra soldier now. Uh, usually, I do get to do a uh, a dash for the first move without worrying about Got it. Um, going into Overwatch. I might just leave someone someone in uh, Overwatch just to be safe. That's affirmative. I mean, we don't have a time limit until we find the canisters. Uh, there's two of them. Should be fine. You can actually dash up there. Let's dash here. Orders confirmed on the move. Roger that. Yeah, we uh, we should get a, a nice dash here before we. There. Worry about running into aliens, so that's good. This is a oh no, there they are. To say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any contest, that's for sure. Right, they're closer than I thought. And try to crawl up my flag. I should have gone into Overwatch there. Is that a canister there? There's uh, sound over there. One of the uh, aliens here. Uh, we did get uh, a little bit of a shot off, but uh, it was no good. We'll go. Let's try again. 
Moving out. Oh, there's there's a second one there. Okay, good to know. Forty-five percent, fifty-six percent. What about the pistol? How's that for? Uh, oops. Pistol, fifty-six percent. We only need one damage, so let's not waste ammo. No, nope, missed. I wonder if we can use the arc thrower on that uh, that alien, even though it is so high up in the air. On the move. Okay, Liu. Liu's got the med pack. I think we'll just move up to there and um, go into Overwatch. That's affirmative. Right, let's change weapon, and uh, he can go into Overwatch as well. See if we can draw this thing closer. Maybe get uh, a chance to use the arc thrower. They're trying to pull back. Oh, that is not good. Okay, so there's the canister. I uh, can dash around, but um, let's go a little bit slower. Uh, maybe you can reach. No, you need to dash as well. Just jump straight over that wall. Nope. Stepping off. Okay. Alien object in Weapon three. Okay. I, I did not realize that was so close. Yeah, I did. I wasn't expecting it to be just there. For some reason, I thought it was going to be um, further along. It's quite a large UFO. Uh, the commander has come out. I wonder if it's possible if we use the arc thrower on him, if we can get close enough. Alright, who has the arc thrower? I think it's you. No, it's not you. Okay, Barnes has the arc thrower. Barnes is a long way back. Um, I wonder if I can get sight from here. It's hard to see if we can see past that pillar. Send Barnes up here as close as possible. Moving out. Let's dash Barnes to there. Um, can we get sight from up here? Understood. Moving out. Yes, we do get sight. Moving out. Forty-seven percent. Uh, I'm tempted just to use the Overwatch. 
see what else appears. Um, right, let's use the pistol, see if we can do some damage. Nope. Negative damage. Oh, there's someone there? Oh, that's right. I forgot about him. He's come back into range. Uh-oh. We're out in the open. Uh oh, and there's more on that side. We are getting surrounded here. Maybe a rocket in that direction would would. Uh, what? How much, how much damage did that thing do? Instant death. Ah, oh, this is why it's going to be so hard to get close to these things. How am I supposed to get that close to be able to um, use the arc thrower? Unless we pull back and wait for it to come forwards, maybe we could do that. It's a risky game though. It's going to be very risky getting into range of this thing to use the arc thrower. Could move up to here and then shoot that. Okay. 47%. Nice. Risky move because um, what's his name just died there. <sighs> okay, there's one, there's another one there, so there's two sectoids. Can't get into range. There, but let's go into Overwatch. Okay, so he's getting a buff, which gives gives him extra health, maybe extra bonus to aim as. Oh my god, aim as well. Come on, come closer. Oh my god, this guy's insane. Movement over there, which I know about. I, I, how am I supposed to use this arc thrower? He does five damage with a single shot. Like, how can I get close enough to use the arc thrower without just getting absolutely destroyed? I don't think it's possible. He's gonna get killed, isn't he? If I step here, he'll just step forwards and, and shoot and kill him. There's, there's, there's nowhere I can get in range and be in cover to get him with the arc thrower in the next turn. He is not going to do it, I don't think. Oh, is that close enough to get him next turn? But then I have to hunker down for a turn? That might be close enough. On the move. This is really risky. Really, really risky. No, I don't want the pistol, I want the uh, the let sniper rifle. 
58% to hit. the meld. Can I get full cover here? That should be full cover, surely. Alright, uh, there's another alien over there. On the move. Go and hunt him down. Thomas, hunt him down. Was he technically not in cover? That's why he got hit. I think <laughs> I think I put him in the wrong spot. Okay, he's healed himself. The alien coming out here. See, how am I supposed to catch him? How's this even possible? They're too smart. I don't think it's going to let me close enough to use the arc thrower. I just stand next to him and take him apart. Let's um, let's just make this 100%, shall we? Um, I could move to a different location. I'm rolling. Let's move to there. And we've got the frag. There. Hmm. Okay, where is the commander? Can the can Murray get down on this side? I don't think he can. If I dash him there, oh no, there is a pipe on this side. Double time. All right. Can you spot anything? No, can't spot anything. Hopefully, it's just this one guy that we need to to take out. Can't get cover here at all. Yeah, there's no no cover there. I don't know. I don't, how can we approach this craft to use the arc throw without getting uh, disintegrated? I'm on it, Commander. Where's he gone? Stand an impact like that at such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Hunker down. Oh, he's right there. Find some new cover. Shit. I didn't know he was right there, literally. Holy crap. Well, you got one chance. One chance. 90%. Okay. Light them up. Excellent work. We begin analyzing Ooh. this new artifact as soon as you return. Another day, another successful operation. Oh, that was risky. That was really risky. But we. I think we got him.
Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. Okay. Well, we have our captured alien or crystal. Unfortunately, Bernard was killed in action trying to get the meld. That was his first mission. Okay. Murray, the sniper, promoted to uh, sergeant. So, Gunslinger confers two bonus damage with pistols. He's nice to have. Damn good ground. Confers plus 10 aim and plus 10 defense against enemies at lower elevation. In addition to the usual elevation bonuses. Um, I like both of these. I like to give the sniper uh, the, the pistol uh, when he's on overwatch. So having that plus two damage would be amazing. Although I do try to put them on high ground if I can. Let's go with the high ground advantage. Um, who else? Jack Thomas kills four. Murray kills five. Karen Barnes. Okay, she's been promoted to a heavy. She's got the fire rocket ability. Additional awards. Additional awards are available for the following medals. Visit the barracks to customize and award them. The Defender's Medal. Okay, I'll check that out in a second. Floater Autopsy, Light Plasma Rifle. Okay, we've recovered a rifle. Beautiful. Floaters, Aliens, Meld, Damaged UFO Power Source, Outside a Shard. Um, first thing I'll do is go to the Grey Market. We can't use the damaged equipment. I don't believe we can use them. So let's sell all of those. Keep everything else just in case I need it. That hulk of flesh and metal troubles me. What do we risk with our own investigations into the melding of human and machine? Will we see a line in the sand and refuse to cross it? Or will we move forward, willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of total victory? I have to believe that is not our future, provided, of course, that the alien's technology remains in the right hands. Okay, so just having a look to see what we can do. Let's view the memorial. Okay, yeah, these three of these uh, were killed in the first mission, so there's nothing I can do about that. And then Bernard was killed on Operation, uh, well, in uh, Operation Sacred Moon. Light Plasma Rifle. Um, I think we got a medal as well. Defender's Medal. Okay. Uh, you must assign an ability to this medal before you can award it to a soldier. Well, let's give it a power first. Okay. Never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed. Medkits and Restorative Mist heal 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Okay, so that medal is going to be for the uh, support. Defender's medal. Um, what should we call it? Healers. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to call this the Healer's Haven. Uh, I'm going to give it to the uh, support. Awards remaining two. Let's award this to... Thomas Jones. So plus two health. When using the medikit, let's award the other one to uh, Caleb Harrison. Both have been wounded in battle. Okay. So, new soldiers arriving, weapon fragments, uh, the workshop in three days. That's what we're waiting for. Uh oh. Commander, uh -oh. we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Oh my goodness, that's difficult. Um, I think it has to be Japan, because that's where the highest panic rating is. Russia or Africa, easy or difficult. Oh, I don't like the looks of that, but I think we do need to go to Japan. 